think this is where I catch my boat. Here, there it is, a little itty bitty boat. Down here on the shoreline, the river. Pretty happening place. There's the cruise ship. I have to walk around here. It's like a personalized tour here. Yeah, over here is where we were yesterday. Pretty much non used and hasn't been used in a long, long time. So, after everything that's uh, been abandoned, they have this uh, nice restaurant versus only one little piece of the structure that's been abandoned. And to get to it, you have to use this uh, elevator, it goes up the cliff. Even more abandoned, except for one little fisherman there. Oh, who did the other five? I just got off the uh, hop on hop off uh, boat here and uh, total time was about an hour and a half. Um, 
and uh, that was included in my hop on hop off uh, total tour but you can also uh, purchase a little ticket for for the boat and the boat uh, costs about 26 euros for a round trip or 18 euros for one way uh, many of the people who were on the boat with us uh, only went one way to Balaam um, but uh, I stayed on um, yeah, so it was, it was interesting um, wasn't the best boat tour we have ever taken, but um, it did give you a, uh, a separate view of, uh, of Lisbon here, and uh, it certainly satisfied my desire to be on a boat. Uh, one of the things I was thinking about doing here in Lisbon was taking a sunset uh, sunset cruise on the catamaran, but you know now I've been out on the water, I've done that, so I don't have to do that. Um, it was. Uh, It was an interesting tour. I'm not sure if you were here only in Lisbon for two days, you would uh, want to uh, spend an hour and a half doing it. Uh, but uh, that's certainly maybe maybe one way uh, to do it. But uh, uh, then again, you know, there's uh, so many other things to see and do here in, in Lisbon that uh, this may not be, maybe shouldn't be a top of your list.